Hi, have you ever seen an application like this? When you create an account, it shows you a list of random words together with their position or index. For example, in my case, it shows tomato as first word, then bicycle, courage at number three, and so on. You're supposed to write these words down so that you can log in later. For example, if you remember these words, you can say, I remember them, and then, well, I think the word number three is courage, and I don't remember, maybe you know, woman? Uh, no, it's incorrect. So, how do we test this using Cypress if we don't know the random word that it will show us? So, I already have the start of the test prepared right here. We're just visiting the page. So, the first thing we want to do is to get all the words from the page, right? This list, we have to store it. And, you know, this is the markup. It's a very simple example where it's not really a random list, but you know, it shows what we need to do. So what we need to do is to grab the words from section show words. So we can get from section show words, words, li elements. So this will give us all six elements. And from each, we need to grab the text. We can use sci each command. We get a jQuery list item, right? And from the list item, we get its inner text using jQuery text command. And now we need some place to store it. So I'll say words is an empty list. And every time we get a list item, we'll push the text into the words. Perfect. Can we print the words? Well, we cannot do words like this, you know, because it just shows words. As an array, right, we have to stringify, for example. And here's where you hit a problem. You are stringifying an empty array when you queue up scilog command. When you can use words, it's only after the previous command has finished. So move it inside a then callback. Every time you get something from application, from the page, from network, you can only use that value. Even if you store it in a local variable, inside a side then callback. Now you have all the words and you are free to use them inside the callback. Okay, so we say the words. Now we have to go and say, I remember these words. So let's find the button. I remember and click on this. Perfect. We now are on a second screen. We now have to do the same process almost. We have to look at each list item. We don't know which list item will have the empty input box. So we have to go through each item one by one. Our markup shows that this section with missing words to enter has ID login. So we can get a section with ID login, words list item again, and again we can iterate with them. And this time, in addition to the jQuery object, we'll get the index as well as a parameter. And now we have a choice, almost conditional testing. Sometimes we have a word and we don't have to do anything. But if that list item has an input element, then we have to enter that word. Here's what we can do. If we have a jQuery list item, we can get the input by finding the input, right? And it's a synchronous operation. It's not even Cypress I find. It's just plain jQuery query method call. If input length, that means we found an input element inside that list item, then we have to type the word. And so the easiest to use a Cypress type command. But before we can type, we have to take the input element and type which word? Well, the word from our array at index k. Okay, let's see if this works. I think this is typing the correct thing. We can log in successfully.
Okay, let's finish the test. After we're done finding the word, going to the next page, we can find one in and click on it. And at that point, it probably will have the button. Site contains the same button. Should say success. Let's see if this works out. Okay, clicked on logged in. And what did it find? It found that it was successful. So this is the test that goes through a first list of words, collects them all, goes to the second page, goes through the list of words, finds if any list items have an input box, and if there is an input box, types the correct word, and then checks that it successfully logs in.